Okay, I need to see this. Turn on the monitor, will you? Okay. Where in Mexico did you find these? Fuelos de Jalisco is in central Mexico, right? Oh. In there. You realize that, I mean, to some people, this will sound crazy. So what we need to do is bring some science to the equation and look very carefully at these artifacts to see if we can get some hard facts to back up your claim. I'm going to get my microscope out. Let's start there. Okay. I've always known Mark to be a collector of authentic artifacts, but I'm not sure what to think about these. If it wasn't someone like him bringing them to me, I think there's no way these have a chance of being anything other than a hoax. Okay. You see those grooves? Uh -huh. You can see where they carve the grooves, and right. there's dirt in the grooves, but I'm not seeing any weathering features on the rock. These came out of the ground, right? I saw them come out of the ground with my own eyes. Well, that would explain why I'm not seeing any evidence of age, because if they were buried, they could sit there till the end of time, and they won't change. Okay, let me show you something, Mark. Do you see this area right here, this little thin strip? Right. This material is some type of adhesive. Okay. If it's organic-based, we could do C14 testing. We could date it. C14 testing measures the radioactive decay of organic material to determine how old it is. It's high tech and highly accurate, and it should be able to tell me if Mark's artifact is ancient or modern. Well, it is organic, and I've had it dated. You've already had it tested? I've had it tested, and you aren't going to believe the results. Okay, I just sent you the results. All right, let's take a look here. University of Arizona. What? 7609 to 7520? That's 9,500 years ago. That's right. I mean, if this test result is right, this represents a culture that predates any Mesoamerican culture by a lot. I mean, by thousands of years. I agree. And not only that, a culture that interacted, apparently, with aliens. Yes. This is a pretty extraordinary claim, and we're going to need extraordinary proof. So. Yes. What I think we need to do is we need to replicate this result. I'd like to take another sample of this glue and test it. And if we get another similar date, boy, it's on now. Science is about repeated results. That's why testing this again is so important. Well, Mark, I'll send this off right away, but it's gonna take a couple weeks at least for us to get the test result. The facts that I got from you and he said these things don't look like anything that came out of the known cultures that he studied and that might not be a bad thing because these had to have come from a, a culture that existed prior to time before the olmecs the mayans the toltecs so that's where we're at and you might recall that we collected a sample sent it off and here are the test results. Mm. The initial test result that you got from the University of Arizona was about 7,500 BCE. If these results are even close to what you got, I mean, this will completely blow up the historical narrative of North America as we know it today. Are you ready to take a look? Yes. Okay, Mark. Okay. Here we go. You ready for this? Okay. 9,240 years BP before present. That's fantastic. 9,500 years ago from today. Read this and make sure I'm not mistaken.
after five years, the research comes out, the writing's on the wall, the UFOs are starting to make sense. You can get our books in our bio, the top of our website, or at our link tree. Thank you for your continued support and following.